Hey guys, welcome to LZ Project. My name is Salman Francis and in our sixth video lecture of Linux Basic Network Series, we will take a look at one of the best tools for packet capturing and analysis called TCP Dump. Uh, TCP Dump is basically a network an analyzing tool. It is used to capture packets and then analyze those packets in order to troubleshoot or analyze the network. Uh, TCP Dump program was developed at the Berkeley University of California by Van Jacobson, Craig Larris, and uh, Stephen McCain. Uh, it was originally developed to analyze TCP IP performance and problems. So let's start. Uh, TCP Dump comes pre-installed in most of the Linuxes. Uh, I'm using uh, SUSE Linux. You can see uh, with my TC. Okay, and it's 13.2, 64-bit, uh, and TCP dump comes uh, pre-installed in this uh, SUSE Linux. Okay, so you can just use TCP dump. Okay, so let's start. So uh, the first command what I'm going to teach you is TCP dump dash T, capital D basically. Well, this command lists the network interfaces on your Linux machine. Press enter and you can see that I'm running uh, WL01. That's my Wi-Fi uh, local uh, loopback address. Then ENP0S25 is my Ethernet address. Okay, so this is uh, the first command. Uh, I think this uh, video is going to be a two-part because I would not be able to cover TCP dump in a single video. So let's... Uh, see next so the next command is tcp dump dash i okay first uh, before i uh, run this command uh, you can always get help uh, for tcp dump with man tcp dump and you can see lots of options over here it's a wonderful tool with lots and lots of options okay then tcp dump dash dash help will also reveal most of the options yeah okay so tcp dump dash i dash i means which interface you would like to list okay and i would like to list w l01 okay okay once you enter this command it will start uh, to cap it will start capturing the packets and let me show you that let's ping this dns and you can see that the picture capture has started once i stop this capture uh, like ping the capture also stops okay but the problem with this cap this kind of capture is that's on the screen it's really fast okay and so how we can uh, control this uh, we can control this by uh, sending this output to a file or saving this output to a file. Okay, but first I would like to mention a few things. Uh, this TCP uh, file once captured, it can be read with Wireshark, Ethereal and TCP dump itself. And we have to save this capture in .pcap extension. So let me show you that. TCP dump okay again the same option uh, same command TCP dump dash I and the interface name and this time I'm going to use the dash W uh, switch which is going to write to a file and file name is going to be my uh, TCP dump file dot pcap okay that's how you are going to save this file now this time if we ping we can see that it's not showing anything on the output screen or the monitor screen okay so let me just control c to kill the ping and control c to stop the capture here we can see that it captured 38 packets but we cannot see those packets on the screen so how we can uh, check if uh, the packets are available well we can ls dash lh t my tcp dump file and we can say it's 4.4 k okay but what happened if i just cat this my tcp dump 
we cannot read it it's gibberish what if I want to just use vim command you can see that it's again gibberish so to read TCP dump we use TCP dump to read TCP dump file we use TCP dump dash R option okay and this time perfect we can read it okay and you can see lots of eco replies eco requests okay so or you can always use this to less but the problem with this is that if we want to edit this file or if we want to uh, check this file uh, with vim or any other editor or cat command we cannot uh, at the moment we are not able to do that okay but how we can convert this pcap format or pcap file to a text file i'll show you that also so again with vim you can see we cannot read this file so to convert this to a normal text file you use again tcp dump oh, dash r and then send it to let's say tcp dump dot txt or any name but dot txt uh, will make sure like you understand that's it's a text extension okay now this time if we use vim dot txt we will be able to read it perfect and we can even edit it let's say level 2 okay perfect you can even cat it so uh, the problem solved okay then there is another option uh, that is a dash s and it's used to mention the size or snap length for example the default uh, size is uh, 68 bytes and 0 means full length okay so we have just converted the file also and what next we can see yeah at the moment if you use tcp dump uh, without any option or vvv i will show you v means verbose and vvv means very very verbose the more v's you add the more output you can you will get okay so if i um, enter this tcp dump dash vvv and start ping okay you can see that it's good it's giving me a lot of uh, output and uh, if the as long as uh, this uh, ping keeps on going uh, this output on this tcp dump will also it will also show a lot uh, lots of output but how i can limit this output to limit the output or capture limited packets you can use dash c option let's say i just want to capture 10 packets with vvv command okay press enter and this time if i ping that's it it captured 10 packets and it stopped that's how you can uh, limit this uh, packet capture with tcp dump okay then there is a dash n option tcp dump dash n by default if you don't mention dash n option uh, it will resolve the name and it will take uh, much time so dash n make sure that the capture is free from name resolution so if you don't want to resolve the names you use dash n option okay so how you can uh, capture uh, packets from a specific host okay so at the moment i have uh, let me show you we have this slackzilla box okay and its ip addresses you can see 1.200 so i want to capture 
uh, from this uh, Slackzilla box. Okay, at the moment, uh, if we just mention this n vvv c20 okay oh sorry c20 it's uh, i don't think it's going to capture anything from slackzilla box let's check but it's on the same network so that is the reason but anyway if you want to make sure that it captures from a specific host so what you need to do is you just need to mention the interface where you want the capture okay count of the packets and then host host is 192.168.1.200 this will make sure that it always capture outgoing and incoming packets of this 1.200 host and not uh, the others so let's check what happens if I use this we can see that it's not showing any capture or it's not capturing anything because it's not that 1.200 okay what happens if I ping from here perfect so it started capturing and after 20 packets it will automatically stop Okay guys, so I think uh, this is the end of part one and uh, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Linux King and you can uh, always uh, like me on Facebook. It's Linux King 77. Uh, you can always send me an email at learning at itpings.com and you can also tweet me at Linux King 77. So thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in next video. Goodbye.